Right. What's up, it's your girl, Miss Naya Nicole, I'm here to spark your soul. And who do I have the pleasure of talking to? Talking to one and only Leek Banger, CEO, 50 Bands. Leek Banger, how you feeling? I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good. I gotta say, I'm feeling, um, I wanna say the New Year's is starting off right. I'm feeling um extra motivated, extra um persevering, and just ready to work this year. Mm -hmm. So are you working on any new projects? Yeah, it's funny you ask. I actually am. Um, I've I've managed to come up with like maybe like six, seven songs that I'm gonna put out just as an EP to um pretty much give the new year a fresh start. And then um I'm gonna just be working on videos. And I also got a um a project. I'm a collaborative project. I'm working with with one of my artists. Well, not one of my artists, but one, a fellow artist that I work with. And um we're gonna be working on that. So yes, yeah, a lot of things going on. Okay, heard you. Big moves, big moves. So how long have you been doing music for? Um, I want to say seriously, I've been doing music roughly around, it's, it has to be a good six, maybe seven years. Mm. Good, wow. And I went snooping on your Instagram. You also do audio engineering? Yeah, yeah. I'm actually, um, I'm actually really good at that. That's like my second skill. Like actually like, you know, um, really passionate about it. Um, audio engineering is definitely something that I, I'm well versed into. Mm. So, how would you describe your sound? Um, that's a good one. I would describe my sound as unorthodox. And the reason why I say unorthodox is because, like, I really don't sound like nobody. I have people who have told me I look like people, people I said, like, I dress or resemble people. But in terms of sound, I haven't heard anyone that sound like me or I sound like just based on my uniqueness and my, um, my voice cadence. So I'm excited. You're going to be performing at Sunny and I Showcase, March 17th. Can you give us a little hint on what songs you're going to be performing or what you got in mind? Oh, yeah. So, I mean, generally, I haven't really thought of that yet because I'm thinking about what kind of crowd I'm going to have. But I, I always stick to my guns and perform the best, the best crowd shaking songs that I know that my audience is going to know. And um, pretty much the ones that got me, like, you know, the most reciprocation. And um, if if anyone that knows me, the only one that watches this, they, and you know my music, you know Too Different is definitely one of them songs that like should have been on Hot 97. So I'm still pushing for that. And I'm gonna, you know, what's, what's old to us is new to a new crowd. So I'm definitely gonna be looking forward to performing most of my upbeat songs, actually. Okay. So do you think you got what it takes to get the W? Oh yeah, oh yeah. But sometimes it's not just about that. I think I, I always, I always wake up every day and win and move. But the thing about the thing about winning is like you know some people don't know how to learn from defeat. So it's like if 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 I win or if I lose, you know I don't do it with with any eccentric values to gain. I do this because this is therapeutic for me and this is what's getting me forward in life. So I don't really do it with no win, loss, or or any, or any, you know, rewards behind it, because then it's like you're taking away from the your actual, your actual craft. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. I, I look at um, L's as learning experiences, because you can only learn from an experience. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. And I like that analogy. Right. So, last question. What motivates you to show up for yourself? Oh, um, that's enough. That's a good one. I guess just proving people wrong like that's been one of my biggest things like you know always going against the grain not going against the grain that's a word that's a bad term but for better term is like people always told me what i could not be people always told me what i can't do or what i shouldn't do or how this down the third should go down for myself you know just my whole life i've been going through that and like i always been somebody that like you know I always strive for of someone having an initial impression of me and then they change later. Like, oh, that's not the guy that I met last year or that's not the guy that I, I thought was it going to be shit. You know, excuse my language because I know you're probably going to post this uh, professional background. But yeah, just um, proving people wrong is one of my big. This would keep me going every day. Mm -hmm. All right, that's definitely motivation too. Just to look back and say like, that's not the same version of myself. I'm a whole different being now in 2023 mm -hmm. <laughs> but thank you so much for your time i'm looking forward to seeing your performance at our showcase can you tell the people where we can find you on social media absolutely so if you want to find me on social media it's at leak banger l-e-a-k-b-a-n-g-a 
music, or you could just put in your Google search. That's where you can find me again, L E A K B A N G A. I'm looking forward to perform. I also make custom apparel. So I'm going to show up. Yeah, 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 like Jack, Jack, Jack of all trades, you know. So um, I'm definitely going to be um, having some of my stuff with me. I'm going to talk to Fancy about that a little bit more. But for the most part, I'm looking for a fashion show. You yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. I know I'm, I have to do a little bit more research onto it, but it's definitely on the top of my agenda in terms of getting everything together. But um, again, I want to thank you. I want to thank Semi So Fancy for the opportunity because that is my homegirl and we've been friends for a really long time. And um, I'm looking forward to rocking up the show. And I and I want to and I want to say in advance, good job to all the artists and every everybody that's pretty much um got the courage to be at this event. Right, because it takes a lot of courage and confidence to be out and expressing your your artistry in front of people and in front of crowds. So thank you so much for even gracing us with your art. So I'm Miss Naya Nicole. I appreciate your soul and thank, thank you. you. Stay blessed. <laughs> thank you. Leak Dango 50 bands. Appreciate you. <laughs>